everyone welcome back and uh, so last class we have discussed about the environment setup for ajax so now let's start with the ajax basics so as i showed you in the uh, powerpoint presentation of the first video the very basic ajax concept what we have to discuss is uh, i'm going to tell you three ways okay it means uh, how to fetch data from ajax using a normal text file the plain text how to read uh, through ajax and also how to read adjacent data from ajax and also how to read data from external api so three things we're going to see now so before we start with this setup so we need to do a, a design of it so we need to have a three buttons and three cards so let's make uh, this setup and then uh, we'll start with uh, the actual concept of ajax so here uh, one more thing you can do is you can just copy this ajax basics folder and keep it outside uh, why i'm keeping this outside is you can use it for the next example because every example you don't need to configure every time right so I'll just keep this outside you can use it uh, for every uh, next uh, folder structure for uh, next example um okay fine so here i need actually um sorry i need actually a three buttons so back to here let's make uh because i need everything to be perfect so let's make a proper design and then start with the jacks okay um so button section so here i write one container one row single this column and here i have to create a three buttons so one is with the class called uh, it was i think primary success and warning okay so btn btn minus uh, primary so this is for text data okay and then uh, let's create another button let's say button uh, success this is for uh, json data and another one btn minus warning and this is gonna be a api data external api data okay and let's uh, let's make a text center so uh, see here yes i got uh, text center and let's make some container with margin top three fine but i need to have a nice nav bar so that i can indicate what are we discussing so let's make a simple nav bar as well so let's add a nav tag uh, with a class call um now bar and now bar uh, now bar dark and bg dark and anchor tag let's make some hash and give a class call now bar um brand so let's make ajax basic so this indicates what's the concept we are discussing in this class okay so we have done with three buttons and let's make for each button one id so let's make an id of text minus uh, btn and for this one json minus btn and for api api minus btn so we have given a each id so why this id is to perform a dom manipulation from javascript side okay so button section ready i need to have uh, another one uh, three cards to display the actual data so we need to have a three cards so text data json data and api data so let's make this part now um so here so data section i write again a container um with the class called mon margin top three here um, one row one single column let's make a column d4 okay I call him D4 is I have three cards. So first card, let's make a card, card header, and also a card body. Uh, let's check once. Yes, I have a card. So here I will write some heading. Uh, this is for text data. I want to display text data, so I need this, and also. Uh, in the card body i want to display the actual text data so let's keep this as empty so i'll just make an id so that i can display some data over here so id um, 
uh, what you write uh, text minus card okay so i have to display the text data here so id is text card uh, fine but i didn't want this much space uh, you can make a container fluid so it will spread across yes looks good uh, i need another card so let me copy this call md4 paste it so this is gonna be um, json data so this is json card okay and lastly let's paste again this is for api data and this is api card okay so we finally done with the design so now it's time to start with an ajax so now what i do is whenever i click on a text data button i need to fetch the normal plain text file data and display here through ajax concept so the moment you click on a button means you have to apply the click event on this button but uh, where is the text data is um, you can do one thing here in this folder i create new directory i create a data folder okay uh, here i create a, pre, uh, a normal file uh, let's take um, message dot txt the simple text file so hello i am from a text file okay so i have a local normal just uh, text file and with some contents so now what is my plan is whenever i click on this button i will make an ajax call to fetch this particular file data and display exactly here so let's do that and when this happens when you click on this particular button so for that button we have an id text button so let me do go to your uh, app.js so let's make for text file data so let's text button is equal to document dot query selector of hash text button and then text button dot add event listener i need to apply the click event and let's make a function so inside mm, when you click on the button I need to fetch data from here so let's make now the actual concept of ajax starts okay ajax so for ajax as we discuss ajax so you're gonna send uh, an xml http request to the server so the very first thing is i just write all the uh, comments first thing is you have to create an ajax request how to create ajax request is let's x h r shortcut for xml http request is equal to new xml sorry xml http request you created and after you create you have to prepare the request you have to prepare what is a prepare means um, you have to tell so which file you have to do and how, what operation you want to perform okay so x h r dot is a function called open so this open will accept the set of parameters one is get to. so it means i have to fetch data so get data from a file so that's anyway as of now local file and let's just see the same concept for the global file also uh, it's get request and also what is your file name so my file name actually message.txt but that is inside a data folder so you can provide dot slash data slash message.txt that's your url so generally you have to give a server url but my file is now as of now in local so local url comma true so true stands for asynchronous so you want to perform a data in a synchronous way or synchronous way so always remember it should be true asynchronous and along with this you have another two parameters one is username and password but as of now we don't have a username and password to access this file so in real time you'll be having two other extra parameters called username and password now it's prepared now let's process the request uh, generally what happens is you have to create a request you have to prepare it and send it so as soon as you send 
uh, server will be processing your request and it will give you a response back so what you have to do is um, let's do one thing send the request so once you prepare you have to send a request how to send a xhr dot send is a function so using this function we're gonna send a request so once you send it uh, because why I'm doing is Ajax is a concept where a developer has to do all the things okay so generally normal HTTP means uh, your browser has to do and here uh, a developer has to do so xhr dot send so we are sending a request to the server after server is received it will do a process and then send you the response so to get to know that so when can you get the responses once the server is done with the response so how you know that uh, server has uh, done with the process is uh, you have actually a uh, previously we have a function called uh, uh, ajax dot on uh, ready state change that's actually a old function so new function what you have is xhr dot on load is equal to a function you can make a normal function or you can make a arrow function okay so this on load indicates once a server has responded uh, once a server is ready with your response okay and here you can check a small condition xhr dot status status is is equal to 200 so there are different different states eh? so 200 means successful 300 means uh, redirection and 404 uh, some error at server side like that uh, page not found and all so status 200 means if we can get a successful response from the server now so if it is successful response from the server i need to catch hold of the data from a server so how to get is let data is equal to xhr dot response text okay and let me do a console dot log of data okay save it so what we have done is as soon as i click on a button it prepares an ajax request it's i mean it creates ajax request it's prepared uh, to which server you have to get it and it is sent as soon as you send you are going to process using onload function and here if it is successful response you just get data and display so simple thing is if you click on this button i will get the text file data on a console log so let's start with uh, let me inspect and console so whenever i click on this button so you never see a page refresh now see without page refresh you will get data of a file but i don't want to display this data on a uh, on a console log but i have to display here so that will be coming under the dom manipulation but the normal ajax request is having these many steps okay fine and this data i want to display here here means we have an id here um what is that id is text card so for text card i want to display something so what i do is um i'll do one thing let's make display text data okay so let's let's create a separate function okay display text data is equal to an arrow function so here i just call that display text data of i'll pass data so let me fetch the the data as a parameter and display so way to display is here uh, how you display is let some html uh, template i create uh, use backtick i will write some h3 tag slash h3 so in between i substitute the data and this template i inject to this id so what i simply do is document dot query selector of hash card dot inner html because it is a uh, it includes html tags so is equal to html template so that's it uh, you can do create local variable and attach or else you can do the same thing directly here that's what it expects you can do a local variable or inline you can do you can do inline like this okay or else you can create local variable also like this 
fine and uh, that's it now check no console required see I have a plain page now as soon as I click on the text data button I got data over here and you never see a page refresh so this is how actually a generally Ajax concept works but don't worry and uh, we we'll just use only text file and that too in uh, local where is our concept don't worry here we'll see a server set call okay so this is all about uh, a DAX concept and we will go move further and uh, we'll do some other examples and how to fetch JSON data okay so let's see how to fetch JSON data in the next video thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet next video thank you